What is up YouTube? Thrift School over here and I've had a lot of questions asking me about my new work van that I purchased for eBay and Amazon and I want to show it off. Let's go. All right, here she is. It is cold and snowy outside, but this thing can drive through almost anything, I think. Let's take a look at it. It is a Dodge 2500, I believe. Uh, I really know nothing about cars. There is the Dodge logo. Here is the van. Let's take a look at what it looks like on the inside. I actually have an Amazon shipment going off. And there we go, it's all open. Look at those beautiful butterflies. So how I got this van, oh, hello. How I got this van was an ex-dog groomer. So there used to be a big dog grooming table there. We'll hop inside and you guys can see the old buttons are still here for the shampoo, for the water. The water line is still attached to a hose back here. So I was able to get this thing for a great deal. We got some light switches back here that pop on. These beautiful lights really lighten the place up. And uh, we have a few different vents, so you could stand back here and get work done if need be. But uh, yeah, we have our shipments going out. We have a little work station back here if I ever need to. So this is a nice counter. It's about chest high. And uh, yeah, we also have a few dedicated um, power outlets here connected to an inverter as well. So I could turn the inverter on. Let's see. There we go pop the inverter on. It doesn't have, oh, there we go. It has a bit of a charge left, so that's cool right there. This thing helps uh, give us some more power in here, hook up some laptops and get some, get some work done, I guess. So let's shut this off. Taking a look at the back of this van, we're gonna open it up. I actually have some inventory here that I bought. Oh, it's locked. Let me go unlock this. There we go. There we go. So I actually have some inventory back here. As you guys can see, we will close that up, lock that in place so it doesn't close on me. And we have a few uh, you know, DVD VCR combo type things in there. My storage thing I bought during the seven day challenge and a few random odds and ends back here. But back here is pretty much just the uh, inverter. Uh, some more batteries are through there. There's not a lot of storage in the trunk space, but that's fine. That's not what I'm using it for. It's good just to have a little bit of extra storage back here though, but all in all, nothing really special back here. Now, checking out the inside is where it's real nice in the cabin right here. We'll hop on in, close it up, and take a look. So, thing's pretty sweet. It uh, has 108,000 miles on it, so this thing should last a pretty long time. I think that's pretty solid. You can see it's 31 degrees outside right now uh, before the wind chill. So I'm very cold doing this. Pretty basic inside here. I have a Goodwill receipt sitting there. Um, you know, you just got some more power. I got my hand sanitizer and a little door to, oh, my, <laughs> my two boxes are on blocking this door right now. There we go. And you could see back in there, those boxes are 50 pounds each, by the way. Okay, Amazon. So yeah, that's a quick tour of this van. Uh, I think it's gonna help the business out tremendously. I've already been using it for uh, six months, maybe a little over six months now, and it has been great. I'm sure a lot of people wanna know how much I paid for this van. Uh, I think it was $8,000 on the dot. So not bad at all, $8,000 for a big work van that's gonna help my business out tremendously. I actually will have a video coming out soon. I bought a pallet of media. I've done this twice before in the past and I just bought another. I still haven't even gotten through the last pallet. It's a lot of work to go through a pallet by yourself, by the way. So I have that next one coming uh, next week, probably. And uh, I don't want to store stuff in my garage anymore. I bought a uh, workstation, workshop, warehouse, storage space. I don't even know what to call it. It is a storefront, but I'm using it as uh, kind of a warehouse storage office space. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I'm going to be moving all the... All the stuff from the pallet that gets delivered here is going there, and I could only do that with a van like this. So that's sweet. I'm gonna have to pick each box up by itself and take it off the pallet, stick it in the back here, but this thing can transport so much stuff. I, I love it. This is an awesome van. Right now, we're gonna go drop off the Amazon shipments, and uh, I'll take you guys with me. Let's go. All right, guys, we're gonna do an impromptu Goodwill stop. I just dropped off my boxes at UPS. 
and I figured let's swing by Goodwill. I mean, I was just here, according to you guys, very recently, but it actually wasn't that recent. That uh, seven day challenge that ended up being a six day challenge that I uploaded was done weeks ago. So I actually haven't been here in a little while. Uh, it's really, really cold out here. So let's get inside and see if we find anything good. All right, guys, the media is completely gone through. And I think we did pretty good. We got a little Pee Wee Herman. I've actually been looking for this. This is worth some decent money. It's always out of stock everywhere. And I found it. So it pays to do your research. I'm always checking eBay all the time and Amazon looking for things that are worth money. Uh, this dog school train or drool school family dog training brand new sealed um, going for over $20. And uh, I just grabbed this for myself because my name is Jesse James. So I've had a thing lately where I kind of want to watch every movie about Jesse James. So uh, it's only a dollar, uh, two dollars. So I'm going to watch that later. And then one video game. Not bad. And it's complete. So it's even better. Very sweet. Let's keep looking. Hey, a treadmill. I actually bought a treadmill. What? Five dollars? Oh, that's a steal. No wonder why it sold. Five dollars. That's a great deal. I would have snagged this. It's a pro form. And, uh, oh, this thing's really nice. If only I had gotten here a little earlier. Oh, it's because it's probably missing its key to turn on. But I think you could just order those online. Oh, that is sweet. $5 is a really good deal on that. I did buy a treadmill from a Goodwill and flip it. I think I paid $20 or $15 and I ended up flipping it for, I think, $75 or $80 locally. So it was just a pain to move. But... That's why I love having the van. I'm able to get stuff like this in the van. So I would have bought that for five, but you know, it's all good. I'm gonna take a quick look at the tapes here, see if there's anything cool, anything new. Never heard of that family. John Jake's American Bicentennial series, okay. Golden Jubilee. Some of these old cartoons can do decently. Same thing with uh, Barney. Always keep an eye out for Barney uh, DVDs. I like to lot them up and sell them on eBay. I'm sure the VHS do well too. I've never tried it, but I'm sure if you could find a whole bunch, like we have some Disney sing-alongs, you could definitely bundle this stuff up and get some good money on eBay for it. I'm going to just look around for a bit and see if I find anything that sticks out to me. So funnily enough, guys, I decided to scan in this Barney VHS and take a look. Lots of reviews, $27. So just like I said, Barney stuff can do really well. Uh, over $25 for a Barney VHS tape. That's just wild. So I'm always looking for that stuff. And some just really weird things like Rob Rizzo's Funky Jazz. Like what even is this? <laughs> he teaches you routines to do some hip hop choreography dances. That's just really cool. So I'm just gonna keep looking this stuff up. All right, so I didn't really find much over there besides the Barney VHS, but take a look at this book set right here. It's Hardy Boys. Uh, there's a whole bunch of books in here. It's $8, which is kind of expensive, but here it is on Amazon. Now, the rank is a little high, but that does sell. I'm not too worried about that. Look at that, $40. So I'll make about 20 bucks on it. So that is definitely something I would grab. Um, we'll see how long it takes to sell. Hopefully not too bad. This is pretty sweet. We found a green lightsaber. Look at that from 19 or 2009. It's three dollars, and uh, it extends pretty good. It is electronic. I see a battery port on it and a button. Nothing happens, but I looked it up on eBay, and you can see 25. I think that's the exact one right there. 25 plus 10 shipping. I have no idea if it works, and uh, not many are listed. So, do I grab it? Three dollars is not that big of a gamble. Just making sure it stays out and it does i don't know if it's supposed to go all the way in but that's about the furthest it'll drop down so it's honestly pretty sweet so i think we can grab it for three dollars why not taking a quick look at the mugs check this out right here it's a little uh, 101 dalmatians mug for a dollar that's pretty cool honestly and i think i see another out of the corner of my eye right here nope that's just nothing I like this one. This one's cool looking for $1, why not? All right, guys, we just left the Goodwill. The snow is accumulating, and let's see what we got. Uh, not all this is from this pickup. I got these two board games from a local pickup, but I did get a bunch of this stuff. We got one mug, that 101 Dalmatians mug, 
uh, $1 for it. It's actually selling for like $25 on eBay, so that's great. We got some Shrinky Dinks. Do you guys remember Shrinky Dinks? I remember playing with these a lot when I was a kid. Uh, they were priced at $2.99 at Ocean State Job Lot, and then at this Goodwill, they had them marked at $2. And they're selling on Amazon for about $16, so that's pretty nice. We got a whole bunch of media over there, DVDs and one video game, uh, between two and three dollars each. A few VHS tapes, two for myself, Jaws and the Blair Witch Project, pretty cool. Uh, Hardy Boys book set, the lightsaber, and we have something over here that I purchased at Red, White, and Blue a while ago. I totally forgot about this. It's been sitting in the corner here for weeks now, uh, an Oculus motion sensor for $20. I think this was going for like 50 bucks. Hopefully it still is. I got to get that shipped into Amazon before Christmas. Christmas is in three weeks. Well, three and a half weeks. So pretty cool. No, wait, three weeks. Holy cow. It's coming up real fast. It has gotten much colder also. 28. I can't feel my fingers. <laughs> Let's head home and uh, call it quits.